Okay, so we're going to install VMware ESXi onto a USB stick. It's pretty straightforward, it's pretty quick. And the first thing you want to do is go to VM, my VM, well, my.vmware.com um, downloads and then pick the version that you want, which is VM, VMware vSphere, <laughs> vSphere high, Hypervisor. Um, which is the one I've downloaded. Once you've got it downloaded, you've got the image on your drive. Next thing is go to Rufus, R-U-F-U-S dot A-K-E-O dot I-E. This is a little piece of software that makes life easy. Here we have my USB stick already plugged in, 67 gig drive. And what we want to do is find the image that we downloaded from um, VMware. Then click open, then click start. It'll wipe the USB drive and make it bootable. Because all these settings are normally set up anyway to make it bootable because most people actually download Rufus for bootable drives because obviously nine times out of 10, you can plug a USB stick in and it'll work anyway for file transfers, but it just won't boot. So as you can see, it doesn't take long. It's already done half of it already. And I expect this will be finished in probably less than a minute. Once it's on the drive, it is now bootable. Just get your server, reboot the machine, make sure your USB is plugged in, and make the USB bootable as the first device. Once the it starts booting, you're then in the install. I'm just about to do a video for the install after this one, because I've already installed it this morning, so you can actually go through the motions with this. Also, if it crashes halfway through, there is actually a issue relating to um, network drivers because it needs to be at least 10, 100, 1000 to actually work with the software, which sounds straightforward enough. But the reality is my driver is Realtek and the specific one, this the software drivers weren't in the software. So what I did is actually create a um, custom version of the VMware software so that it incorporated my driver and as such it installed straight away otherwise it will come up with an error and I know I sound like I'm babbling on here is mainly because I'm just waiting for the video to finish um, but waiting for the ISO to finish writing and that will give us our USB stick to just plug in and go but it's very quick, very simple. Even from this video, it's only taken about two and a half minutes from scratch. The hardest bit is downloading the VMware software, which with my slow internet at the moment, took, took about an hour and a half, I think. So that's basically it. Um, I'll cut you off here, because I, I mean, it's pretty obvious it's nearly finished. Once it is, just eject it, plug it into your machine, and away you go.